All right, I'm back. Hello. Hello. So, what scene do I want right next? Key to success. You do not have to write in sequential order. Oh, yeah. It's Eventua, right? Like, just confirming that. I know you've been here before. I'm glad you came back. Um, yeah, writer's block. Writer's block is an interesting thing. Um, because it really stems from... from Cool. I got it right. Excellent. Uh, it really stems from two different sources. Uh, the first one being your own fear. And the second one being unprepared with a story. Um, one of those you can help. And the other one just really difficult. Um, so yeah, it really depends. Um, I'm going to go into big face mode for a bit here because I want to talk about this a little bit more. Um, and I think Robin could probably help weigh in on this a little bit if she's still around here somewhere and not start doing it up. But um, yeah, it's kind of a thing. <laughs> so yeah, what, like I was, uh, well, I'm going to expand kind of on, on what I was talking about with those two categories. For me, writer's block either comes from, yeah, those two things. Either my own fear as a writer or as not having done enough prep work for a story. As creative people, we all kind of get in our own heads. We're always comparing ourselves to those people who we admire as creative people. I mean, that's it's kind of what we do as human beings. Um, and I, and I don't think we'll ever really get away from that, for better or for worse. Um, it's interesting, though, um, and, you, and you hear me kind of talk about it a little bit when I'm saying things like, you know, just put words on the page. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that sounds like an easy solution. I understand exactly how hard it is, but really that's a kind of a way for me to get over my own mental blocks when it comes to that, to not think so much about what I'm writing and just write. Because once you get started, it, it, it'll, you, you pick up momentum. It's a boulder rolling downhill. That first step is always the hardest part, but once you start going, gravity helps take over. Um, so there's that, and then there's kind of the other side, which I think is entirely preventable. And it's it's kind of weird because people use writer's block as this blanket term, but it can really be very different depending on who you are uh, and what and and how you approach the writing process. Um, so you know, like I've been blocked on stories where you know I know the beginning, I know the end, I know like events that happen, but I don't have a middle section. I don't have a bridge. I don't have something to connect them. Um, or I don't know my character well enough in order to, to push through that. Um, you know what I mean? So, you know, you, you can help prevent that second form uh, by, by doing a little bit more planning. Uh, or even, I mean, and, and this works... I think in general for creative people, but even stepping away from the project for a bit, you know, sometimes you, you get caught up in, in what you're doing and you just need to step away. Like you can't, you can't tell what's, what's good anymore. It's hard. It happens. You stare at something so long that you're so intimately familiar with it that there's, you stop seeing it, you know? So stepping away, working on something different. Um, I like to have 
a couple of projects in the works. I usually have a project that I'm working on on stream. I usually have another project that I'm working on outside. And then I have a third project that's kind of, I'm playing around with as an idea. Uh, it's not something I'm working on, but it's something I'm kind of developing, uh, at least thinking about. And that helps distract me from sort of the other stuff going on. Um, but yeah, um, just just freeing up your mental space so that it, your your brain can process subconsciously the things that you're thinking about. Um, that really helps with me. Um, not everyone's the same. We all have different different moments in our process. Um, what are you, what are you struggling with, uh, Ventua? Like what what part? If if you want to share, no pressure. You don't have to. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let's talk about it. Yeah, no, that's a that's a good strategy, Sam. And th and that's kind of what I was saying. Like, you know, you gotta you can do a lot with. I find when you get in those little moments of of block where you can kind of. If you start exploring the setting, then you really, you can find those little details. I'm finding that right now I'm writing this story called Traveling, which is about this weird cyborg journalist thing. Um, but for me, it's kind of like a re-edit of a previously written piece that I had done. So I'm adding all these cool sci-fi elements to it. But it's it's finding those little moments of what what makes this a unique world that pulls me in and and solves the problem when I get st the problems when I get stuck, you know it's not so for me in that story it's not so much about the character but about the setting exploring elements of that setting. Yeah, man. Um, I've I've definitely been there where you know you struggle to find motivation it's tough art is tough <clears throat> in general um and creative people tend to be um a type that uh, are very volatile <laughs> mentally whether we like to admit it or not but um yeah a lot of us have struggled with uh depression and, and motivation and anxiety. Um, I know personally I've, I've dealt with some of that stuff. Um, not so much depression, more anxiety and, and that kind of thing. Uh, I had ADHD that I didn't know about until I was, uh, 23 years old when I found out I had ADHD. Um, so I had no strategies in place to deal with any of that. And because I didn't have any strategies, university was extremely difficult for me to the point where, you know, I, I dropped out because I couldn't deal with it. I was super unhealthy. Uh, I wasn't going to class. I was like stuck in my room all the time. Wasn't talking to people like it was it was really unhealthy. Um, so, you know, quitting school for me was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Um, because it was such a struggle <laughs> like it really was um and you know like i have no i have no issues with school i think education is very important i think going to university and all that is a great thing to do i respect people um who are able to do that um and i will never dissuade someone from going to school uh if they want if that's what they want i will never dissuade someone from that just because it didn't work for me is not is not a reason to diss the system or anything like that. <laughs> um, well, I mean, like I wasn't, I was a hermit, but like there were things that brought me out. I was hugely involved in, a, in the mathematics society when I went to Waterloo. I was hugely involved in the news, uh, the Excalibur newspaper when I went to York. Like I did things; they just weren't necessarily the things I was supposed to be doing. Um, and I agree with Sam when he's saying here, like, if all you write is 15 minutes, then that's progress. That's progress on something. Um, you know, and 
we definitely all kind of feel at times that when we're struggling with the motivation, it becomes, it becomes even harder because we feel like we have to make up for lost time in a lot of ways. At least that happens with me where it's like, you know, if I don't write a day, it's like, Oh, the next day I have to write twice as hard because I missed a day. Um, and I'm learning not to do that because it's, it's not good for you by any means. Um, but it's a yeah it's about f- focusing on the present on what you can do now um at least for me it is and and when i talk about this stuff i talk about a lot about the stuff that i experience this stuff is not going to work for everybody it's not going to like i don't mean to say that these are easy ways to fix things or that you know this is the only way to do it, or I have some sort of special insight into what will work or what won't. But I guess, I guess in a lot of ways, I'm just trying to share like, you know, what I went through and, and what helped me in, in the hope that maybe, maybe it might help you um, or anyone out there who's listening really. But, you know, um, it's tough, man. Life is tough. (laughs) Life is tough. Uh, And I feel kind of like a terrible person for saying that because I kind of live in suburban Canada and I'm, you know, distinctly middle class. Uh, You know, and I don't have a ton of money, but I'm not broke or anything. And I don't deal with with race issues or, or... gender issues or uh, or sexual orientation issue like is, I call them issues but like I don't I don't deal with a lot of hate for that kind of thing you know um, so it, it feels if I feel like kind of like a terrible person in my ridiculous white privilege to say you know life is tough and all that um, but it is it's hard interacting with people is difficult um, we all struggle. We all struggle differently. And I, and I would never say that my struggles are nearly as bad as a lot of people's out there. Um, but that doesn't make it easier in our heads. Right. Which sucks. I wish it did. (laughs) Um, yeah. And I agree, Robin, like getting down on yourself just makes it harder to write. And then the harder it is to write, the less you feel motivated to write. And the less you feel motivated to write, the more depressed you get because you're not motivated to write because that's something you want to do. And that sucks. It's a, it's a long spiral downward. Um, I've definitely done it. I struggled a lot. Um, trying to balance a full-time job and, and writing and streaming and all this stuff. And, you know, I've gotten way better at it, um, over the last little while I've noticed in the last, like sort of four or five months that I've all the pieces have kind of been falling into place where I'm able to finish projects in an efficient manner where I'm able to move stuff forward, you know? Um, but I guess what I'm saying is like, you know, you're never alone. There, there are people who are suffering from the same things you're suffering from. Um, and there are people who can help. Uh, I know that, uh, there's a lot of really creative people here on Twitch who are totally willing to talk about, about anything that, that really is you struggle with. Um, I mean, I'm open to that. My mods are sharing. Um, I know lots of other people like burger and molten ink and, and a lot of those guys who, who share their stories as well, because it is tough. Being a creative person is tough. It's hard. It, it takes many, many hours of dedication to get anywhere. But we struggle. We struggle through it. We, we try our best. And sometimes that's enough and sometimes it isn't. But that's life. That's a human experience, right? And I'm terrible at nano, NaNoWriMo. 
uh, I'm useless at it. I I cannot. I am not good enough to to stick to that schedule properly. Um, I admit it. <laughs> I think now I would I would do a lot better at it than I have in the past because I think I'm I'm getting significantly better. But no, and I, and I'm not gonna force myself to do it either. I know that it's it's a good thing to aim for, where you can kind of you know, go into it knowing that you may or may not succeed. Uh, but for me, I'm working, I'm working every day. I'm, I'm writing every day, uh, or at least trying to, and the days that I'm not, I'm generally doing writing relating things. Um, you know, uh, so it's weird, right? Yeah, I get what you mean, Robin. You know, it it's hard to say what what's I I agree to a certain extent, but I disagree. And and maybe if um, Erica's still here or, or one of the other people who hang out who um, who do visual art, maybe want to weigh in. But um, I disagree. I think I think it's extremely similar. I think it's easy for us to say that painting is like that as people who don't paint um, because we see it, we see quality and we see certain things. But I think if you were the person who painted it, I don't think it would be the same, th the same experience. Um, and I, and I kind of disagree on another sense because I was, I was talking with one of my friends the other day and um I was saying that like I noticed like I noticed all of my my sh shit for lack of a better term coming together where you know I was able to finish a piece in a timely manner not necessarily as timely as I could be but better where it's probably like it's a great piece it's written well it's very clear and concise it's interesting I sent it off to a magazine like these are all important points of progress like it's hard. It's hard because it's from our own perspective. We don't see all of those little things. Um, I equated a lot to, I equated a lot to, you know, when you, you haven't seen somebody in a while and you, you meet up with them like after six months or whatever, and they've got a, a totally new haircut or their hair's grown twice as long or something like that. But if you were with them every day, you wouldn't, uh, but if you had spent the six months with that person every single day, you wouldn't necessarily notice the incremental change as it went. Right? So f for the, the writing process and the art process and all that, it's, it's kind of the same thing where, you know, there's all these little gradual changes that are building up this foundation brick by brick piece by piece but we don't necessarily see it all you know we're kind of lost in the the process of it I, uh, I equate the writing process to this kind of this weird idea of I've spent my entire life chasing a feeling. I know what that feeling is. I know what that feeling is when I experience it, but I don't know how to achieve it on a, on a regular basis, you know? Yeah, and I know exactly what you mean, Sam. Like I have I've watched movies or I've read books or comics that like literally 
literally forced me to reevaluate my entire experience as a person. Many of them are the ones I talk about all the time, things like A Drifting Life and, and anything by Yashishiro Tatsumi and you know, a lot of this stuff by Osama Tetsuka and Scott McCloud, like things that, that change you. Um, like it's, it's kind of a whole thing, right? <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I think it's always, uh, a tough process, tough process of a lot of things. And it's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't know. I'm very solitary when it comes to the, the creative process. Riffing's nice. Uh, don't get me wrong. I don't mind it. Uh, it's very useful in a lot of situations. It's just I don't necessarily need it all of the time. But there, like, that's... That's kind of another part of the writing process though, right? Like some people, uh, like me especially, um, and I read an interesting article in a magazine that I have over there about this, about kind of this idea of extroverted versus introverted writers. Uh, where, you know, introverted writers do really well when they have processing time. Uh, and I'm very much an introverted writer. Uh, you know, like you go rake the lawn and you just, process and the gears are turning uh, whereas other people need to talk it out other people need to talk it out and they need those sparks of inspiration from other people um, we're all different we're just different Yeah, I mean, I suppose, Robin. I don't know. I'm by no means an expert. We're all kind of just trying to find our way. <laughs> I disagree, Robin. I don't think you were ever introverted. I think you were introverted because you didn't know how to not be introverted. <laughs> but I don't think you wanted to. What scene am I on? Um... I don't know. If anyone has any questions about what I'm talking about, feel free. Or if you have any input, uh, go ahead. I know my mods are kind of just talking a lot, um, as and they are quite welcome to. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it's 
See, this is what I was worried about. That's now off screen, which is terrible. Let's do some spaces. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I do, I don't think I'm that different. And Sam was talking about that too, is like thinking about it before you go to sleep. But I worry too that you get too caught up in, in what that is, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about, Sam. Like, it's... It's... While you're... Like you're doing something else, so your brain's free to interact with the ideas to process them. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm by no means an expert. All I have are my own sh my own shenanigans to draw on. But I think having conversations like this are is having conversations like these is, is is an important thing. You know, I think it's important to share our experience. It's important to to figure out what drives people and what drives other people. And and I mean, these are all influences on the writing process. And I know I always keep going back to that, but I mean, that's kind of who I am as a person. Like for me, writing is everything. Writing is what I do. Writing is what I live. Um, so it all comes back full circle. Yeah. <laughs>
Hmm. So why haven't you written that story then, Robin? I'll make it sound easy, like that's just the thing you do. But um, if it's been with you for that long, how come it's never come out? Interesting. I don't know. I don't have an answer. For me, I just try and put a little bit down on the page and just whittle away at it until until it's somewhere somewhat presentable, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that was someone on the uh, Writer's Lounge Discord, right? I don't know. I remember reading something like that, but maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. I'm getting some frame drops and it's not it's not bad by any means um, but I am curious as if it has something to do with the new camera like it just the more processing power is causing it I don't know it's interesting Well, it all starts with one word and one sentence, right? Yeah, um, it hasn't been bad or anything. I'm looking at about 0.3%. which is not unreasonable by any means, that's fine. It could be, to be honest, it could be just some network volatility with the connection. Uh, not even on my end, could be on Twitch's end, who knows, but that's fine. We're, we're doing good. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, and that's okay, Sam. Um, Streamcat is getting pretty real. But I'm cool with it because I, I want this to be a place where we can talk about everything, you know? 
I mean, I don't necessarily want to talk about everything, but <laughs> just that it's a, it's a space where people can share. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, um, I might hit you up about that, Robin. I gotta see what my schedule looks like. I'm a busy dude. Hmm. trying to think here of what what I'm trying to do with this scene <laughs> yeah I agree Robin uh, writing is entirely about the human condition and and being able to talk about that is very important I agree Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Real talks kind of killed my thought process about this short story. Um, it was okay. These things happen. That's fine. We're uh we're pretty much up real close to three o'clock anyway. Um so I'm gonna open up I'm gonna open up the platform. If anyone has any questions for me about what I was doing today or anything else that we've talked about, uh please don't hesitate to ask. Uh just let me know. Uh as as well as if uh, if you wanna get in touch with me after the stream, uh my contact information is on the website below. Um as well as on Twitter at Freak Lab Mishaps. Um, comments, feedback, uh, suggestions, whatever, guys. Just send it through. I'm happy to talk about it. Um, what else? Uh, tomorrow I will be on back at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for uh, the second episode of Read Write uh, with MC Pepper Pockets himself, uh, Sam. Um, we're going to be finishing up The Last Witch uh, by Andrei Sapkowski, which is the first book of the Witcher series. So yeah, look forward to that. It'll be real exciting. Um, anything else I need to go over? Uh, Announcements-wise or anything? No? I don't think so. We're doing good. We're coming up on my one-year twitch anniversary uh, in about a month. I have some stuff planned for that, I think. So uh, we'll see about that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what new adult is, by the way. And I don't know why it should be a genre. Maybe a subgenre. See, to me, that sounds like a classification. For example, I don't consider YA a genre. YA is a classification of certain books within other genres so that they are thematically or uh, aesthetically similar. Yeah, you're on the list. Don't worry. We have a host book for the next, uh, I think, four episodes, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah fine. But uh, my point was more about them being a classification and not a genre. You know, it's a way for bookstores to sort things for people to find more so than it is for uh, like an actual genre of work. But hey, maybe that's just me. Maybe I just don't understand enough about what I'm talking about. It wouldn't be the first time. Oh yeah, sure, sure, Sam. I will. Uh, I will forward those to you. Will do. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. Um, they're all labels to find stuff, I guess. That is true. I guess my point was more that, you know, if you go to a YA section, you'll find fantasy and you'll find science fiction. Uh, as well as if you go to the science fiction section, you'll find science fiction. Uh, or you go to the children's section, you'll find fantasy and you'll find science fiction. But I see your point. I see your point. So yeah, uh, I think I think that's gonna be it for me for today, guys. Uh, it's been a good stream. It's been a weird stream, um, but I'm pretty happy with the way it went. We talked about a lot of real things. We talked about uh, writing, and we talked about streaming, and we talked about uh, uh, mental health and and all that thing, all those good things. Um, so yeah. Good stream, good talk. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm all quiet. I'm in a very philosophical mood. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Without further ado, my name is Brendan, and this has been Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I really appreciate all of you for hanging out, coming by. Uh, totally cool if you guys just stopped by for a bit and took off. All good. I, uh, I do the same myself when I'm in streams. Um, but yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you all tomorrow if you're in for the book club. Otherwise, next Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye. Oh, that's not that's not the post stream. There we go. My bad. <laughs> we got there.